Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got some exciting news for you that literally just dropped in the last hour. I'll try to keep this brief, but there's some major fantastic forecasting scoop that you need to know about. Now, this comes from the trusted industry insider, Daniel RPK. And if you're not following him on Twitter at at RPK News, you're missing out on some fantastic Marvel scoops. According to Daniel RPK, the deals are all closed for the main four members of the Fantastic Four, and an announcement is imminent. Now, the last time he dropped news like this, it was about Pedro Pascal being a lock for Reed Richards. And guess what? Hours later, The Hollywood Reporter and other industry insiders confirmed the same thing. That's how reliable he is. So, what's the buzz? Well, apparently Vanessa Kirby is set to play Sue Storm, the Invisible Woman. Joseph Quinn, you might know him from Stranger Things, will be Johnny Storm. And Emma Moss Bach Rock, from The Punisher, will take on the role of Ben Grimm, a.k.a. The Thing. These details are still being confirmed, but it looks like we're finally getting the Fantastic Four team we've been waiting for. Now, if you've been following the rumors, Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards has been a strong rumor for about a month. But there are more speculative casting choices, like Anya Taylor-Joy possibly playing Frankie Ray, a female Silver Surfer, and Javier Bardem or Antonio Banderas eyed for the role of Galactus, the potential villain. One interesting twist is that the Fantastic Four will apparently come from another multiverse, and the film will be set in the 60s. It's a unique take, and Marvel Studios seems to be aiming for something different with this film. Now, before we all jump to conclusions and start complaining about the casting choices, let's keep an open mind. Not everyone is going to be happy. That's just the nature of fandom. But hey, we might be in for a pleasant surprise when we see how these actors bring these iconic characters to life on the big screen. So what are your thoughts on the potential fantastic forecasting? Are you excited, skeptical, or a bit of both? Drop your opinions down below and let's get a discussion going. And before I forget, don't let the negativity surrounding the casting choices ruin your expectations for the film. Marvel Studios is known for shaking things up, and this could be a fresh take on the Fantastic Four that we never saw coming.